Hi, this is Josh from TV Sports, and today we're going to show you software for our new keyboard, the new Poseidon Z Touch Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Now, the touch bar concept that has been so long in coming is now finally here to TD Sports. And TD Sports created this new Poseidon Z Touch Mechanical Keyboard that has a smart bar, so it offers multiple gestures, multiple zone supports, and not to be mentioned the programmable macros. Now let me show you what we'll get from this Poseidon Z Touch software. Now the Poseidon Z Touch software comes with four sections: the profile, the smart bar press zones, the scroll and zoom section, and lastly the smart bar swipe section. Now let's start with the profile section here. So this profile section it allows you to create new profiles by pressing the plus sign here, and it will ask you to insert your profile name and where this profile to be assigned to. So if you want to assign the profile to a game or a program, you have to open the game or program and press alternate, shift with the plus sign on your keyboard, and it will automatically save the program or game to the list. So after you press the buttons, you have to close this window and press this plus sign again, and you will see your game or program appearing on this list. So after you choose the program and your name, click Submit and it will automatically change from the profile. Okay, now the smart bar press zones. For the smart bar, we have 5 available zones for you to set macros to. And if you want to change the number of zones, you can just click here from 1 to 5. So you can just press 5 and you can see there are like 5 zones for you to choose and to set macros to. So if you want to set macros to this zone, you can just click this icon and just press this recording button and record your macro and just click submit and it will save to this particular zone. Okay, now the scroll and zoom section here. So this section here, it allows you to enable functions like vertical scrolling, horizontal scrolling, the scrolling speed, and a zoom function here. Okay, when you enable this vertical scrolling or horizontal scrolling, you have to follow this gesture in order for you to use the function on the browser. So, for example, I have already enabled this too on this software. So when I go to the browser, I just have to follow the gesture. And you can see there is a vertical scrolling here. And for horizontal scrolling, you just have to follow the horizontal scrolling gesture, like this. And now you can see it moves horizontally. And for the zooming function, you just have to follow the zooming gesture on the software, like this. Now you can zoom in and zoom out by using the smart bar. And lastly, we have our smart bar swipe section where we have some pre-programmed actions available on the software. For example, the text editor, where you can edit your text on your document by swiping your smart bar, highlighting your text, and edit your text on the document with the smart bar itself. Now the right-click menu select. When you do a right-click action, and you can select your option by swiping the smart bar. Now the input method editor. This feature allows Chinese users to select the correct Chinese characters by swiping the smart bar. Now the Windows search feature, when you enable this feature, you're able to use the smart bar to swipe to select the information that you search from Windows. If you do not want to have the pre-programmed actions that are available on the software, you can definitely record your own function by clicking the drop-down function here and choose record your own. As you can see we have two options here, the swipe left option here and the swipe right option here. So if you want to set macro when you swipe left, you just have to check on the box here and then you can set your macro by pressing the icon here. And now you can set your macro here. So after you set your macro, you just save it and there you go, you can use your macro when you swipe left on the smart bar. If you want to adjust your swiping sensitivity, you can definitely change it over here as well. And that's it for the Poseidon Z-Touch software. So if you want to know more about the software or the keyboard, you can definitely visit our website at www.ttsports.com for more information. Thank you.